So the 2021 Sienna's second row seats are officially non-removable. But like a wise man once told me, nothing, nothing is, is impossible. impossible. It's just a matter of how hard it is to remove these seats and what kinds of tools are required. After doing it to one of these seats, I can tell you it's not that hard. It only takes about 10 minutes uh, if you know what you're doing. Uh, and this video will show you how to do it, so it won't take that long for you. All you need is a plastic pry tool, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 17 millimeter socket with an extension. That's it, let's get started. First, we're actually gonna start at the battery. This is the low voltage 12 volt lead acid battery on the right side of the trunk. Let's just push on these tabs right here to open the compartment. We need to disconnect the 12 volt battery to depower the airbag system that's present on the second row seats so that we don't accidentally trigger the airbag when we're disconnecting the cables. To disconnect the negative terminal of the battery, we just loosen this 10 millimeter nut right here that clamps down the negative terminal and this entire chunk comes off. Okay, once that's loosened, just pull this connector off. And this is just something that I recommend slide in this uh, plastic piece to make sure that the terminal doesn't come back into contact and create any sparks. Now we're ready to work on the seat. I would recommend putting the seat in sort of a middle position so that you have enough room to work on both sides. I would also recommend putting the seat like this so that it's collapsed and gives you more room to work on the bottom of the seat. Let's expose the easiest side first. So notice these two plastic pieces. There's actually a little slot right there for you to insert your pry tool and just like that, it pries open. And now it'll reveal two 17 millimeter bolts. Similar situation on the front. This plastic piece covers two more bolts as well as our airbag connectors. So just pull on these bottom corners with your hands, all right? Once you've gotten this loose, you can use your pry tool to pull right here. And that comes loose as well, as well as right here, there's a tab right under there. And then there's three more tabs around uh, the top. So you can just pull away. Pull some more on this. There we go. Now we've removed the plastic piece and look, it's still intact. All the tabs are still not damaged. So don't worry about it, just pull. Now we need to disconnect these two connectors for the airbag. So for the white one, just press down on this little lever right here and pull it out. For the yellow one, there is also a white lever. Once you push that, the yellow outer part of the connector pulls out a little bit. Pull down on that white lever once again, and it disconnects. Over here, we have just a cable management clip. Pull that. There we go. And it comes off nice and easy and uh, it's not damaged. You can reuse it by just inserting it back in. Now we're gonna remove these two 17 millimeter bolts. So take your 17 millimeter wrench with an extension so that you can reach into here and just uh, loosen it like that. Now let's loosen these bolts on the back. We're almost ready to take off the seat, but just before we do that, let's take off the headrest by itself so that we have a little bit more clearance when we're taking out the seat. At this point, you're gonna need to call in a helper to help you lift the seat out of the car. Now that the seats are out, let's talk a little bit about these rail carriages. These are much harder to remove than the seats themselves. So for the purpose of this video, they will stay in the car. But if you press down on 
these levers right here, that releases the rails and makes them free to move. So while pressing those levers down, you can move them toward the front of the car. Be mindful of these sharp levers right here on the rail carriages. Uh, make sure you cover them with something before putting something big into your van uh, so that these don't poke into your payload. Okay, now we can reconnect the battery so that you can actually use your flatbed van. So let's just put the clamp back onto the negative terminal and tighten the nut back up. All right. Now you should be able to start the car back up. Right after you reconnect the battery, you may find that the power doors don't work at first. In that case, just press the power door off button, manually close the doors and trunk, and cycle your locks and turn the power door button back on and your power doors should now work. Reinstalling the seats is basically the same process in reverse. Disconnect the battery again, align the rail carriages, put the seat back on the carriages, make sure the seat's brackets are going over the ends of each carriage, and reinstall the bolts. The longer ones go in the back and the shorter ones go in the front. Tighten all of them to 65 newton meters or 48 pound feet. Reinsert the cable tie and connectors. Reinstall the plastic covers. After you reconnect the battery, the airbag error message should now be gone. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Stay tuned to my channel because I will be converting these all-wheel drive non-Ottoman seats to the Ottoman seats from the front-wheel drive models. So I'll be following up with you later on that. See you next time.